Hello friends, this video on heat part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us see how exactly do we read a thermometer. Now many a times you will see that reading a thermometer becomes a tedious task for a lot of people because they get confused how exactly to read it. And it is extremely important that you read the thermometer precisely because when you read a thermometer you are basically reading the temperature of the body of a person who is suffering from some illness. So basically knowing that temperature accurately will decide the diagnosis or the medication of that person. So it is very important to read it accurately. So let's see how do we read a thermometer and please learn this use from this slide and then try to read a thermometer at your home. So this is how a normal thermometer would look like any clinical thermometer. Now please be sh make sure that not all thermometers look exactly identical to each other. Most of the clinical thermometers are based on the centigrade scale or the Celsius scale. However, these days we also have thermometers where you have the Fahrenheit scale. So that should not cause a problem to you because the basic uh, concept of reading a thermometer will still remain the same. So here you see in the on the thermometer you see some long lines like this and some short lines which are more close to each other. So here if you look at it you see that a long line represents 35 degree and then another long line represents 36 degree. So basically how many lines do you have between 35 and 36? So if you try to measure or if you try to count the number of lines which you have between 35 degree and 36 degree you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Correct? So basically you have 10 lines between 1 degree in 1 degree so 10 lines correspond to 1 degree correct so how much will one short line correspond to so one short line will actually correspond to 1 by 10 degree which is equal to 0 0.1 degree so in this particular thermometer one line that means from here to here is going to be 0 0.1 degree here to here is again 0 0.1 degree here to here again 0 0.1 degree so the one distance between two short lines is going to be 0 0.1 degree in this particular thermometer now it is not necessary that all the clinical thermometers look exactly like this now in some clinical thermometers it also might happen that between 35 degree and 36 degree there are only five lines so in that case what will happen your calculation will change so in that case the distance between two short lines will become lesser correct so it depends on thermometer to thermometer but basically what you have to decide is how much is how much does two short lines indicate so basically if distance between two short lines would measure 0 0.1 degree in this case Correct. So now let us see how do we measure the temperature. So here if you look at this thermometer, the mercury line has actually gone up to this point. So in this case it is pretty simple because this point is directly 39 degrees. So it is quite easy to read it. But many a times the line might go up to this point. Had it gone up to this point, then what would the temperature have been? So till here is 39, then 1, 2, 3. And each of these is 0 0.1. So 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So in that case, it would have been 39.3 degree Celsius. So that would have been the temperature if it had gone up to this point. So this is how we read a thermometer. So now let's take another example where let us suppose you have a thermometer. So this is a thermometer and let us say the thermom in the thermometer the measurement is given like this. This is 36 degree and then you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then you have 37 degree. Then again you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and again 38 degree and so on. So if you have it like this. So in that case what is happening in between 36 degree to 37 degree that means 1 degree is represented by how many lines it is represented by 5 lines. So in that case 
one short line will represent how many degree? 1 by 5 degree which will be 0 0.2 degrees. So in this case if your mercury level goes up to this point. So let us suppose the mercury level went up to this point. So what would be the temperature? The temperature would be 36.0.2. 0 0.4 so that will be 36.4 degree celsius so whenever you want to read a clinical thermometer first of all you have to determine how much does one short line represent so if one short line is 0 0.1 degree then you can uh, read the thermometer accordingly if one short line is 0 0.2 degree then again you can read it accordingly now mostly the clinical thermometers are on celsius scale but a lot of clinical thermometers are also on fahrenheit scale and they have long lines to either to indicate 1 degree or to indicate 0 0.5 degree now in this case you see the long lines are present to indicate not 1 degree so on 1 degree it is written but if you, if you have long lines at an interval of 0 0.5 degree correct so this is 37 again you have a long line at 37.5 again a long line at 38 again a long line at 38.5 so you have long lines at interval of 0 0.5 degrees so this is how we read a thermometer So based on the process of reading thermometer, let us try reading some different temperatures. So here you see the purple colored line represent the uh, mercury line or the mercury level. So here you see the mercury level reaches up to this point. So how much is this? This is 39. What is this? This is 39.5 and it is just one more short line and here one short line is one short line in this case is 0 0.1 degree so this will be 39.5 plus 0.1 that is 39.6 degree celsius let's look at another example so here you see this is up to where the thermometer went so this is 37 so this is 37.5 because after 37 you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 correct so till here it is 37.5 and after that again it is just one more so that is 0.1 more so this will be 37.6 degree celsius so this is how we measure temperatures using a thermometer now there are certain precautions which need to be taken care while we are handling a clinical thermometer. Now first of all, whenever you have to measure temperature, you have to place the thermometer on a person's body, preferably under the tongue or under the arms. And then you have to keep the thermometer there for approximately a minute. Now as soon as you keep it there, what happens? The bulb of the thermometer gets heated up because the body is already hot. Now when the bulb gets heated up, the mercury expands and the mercury level rises in the thermometer. Then we take it out from the tongue or from the underarms and then we re read the thermometer as I explained in the previous slide. So that is the process of measuring temperature using a thermometer. But some basic precautions are handle with care to prevent breaking. Why to prevent breaking? That is because this thermometer contains mer mercury and mercury is a very harmful substance so it is very poisonous so if we break the thermometer what happens the mercury comes out and then we have to dispose that mercury so mercury is uh, one of the important uh, pollutants it can cause pollution it can cause damage to living organisms so that means disposing mercury becomes a challenging task. So it is always important that thermometers are always handled with care. That is why you would have seen that thermometers are always kept. They always come inside a box with a lead so that they remain well protected inside. Wash before and after use. Now it is necessary to wash because first of all the thermometer goes inside a person's mouth. So there might be a lot of uh, germs or dirt or impurities inside the mouth. So it is important to clean the thermometer before it is being used by some other person later. So that is one thing. Secondly when you wash the thermometer now since the thermometer was heated up correct so it is important to wash it so that it comes back to its uh, normal temperature and moreover to maintain hygiene also it is important to wash it 
Jerk the thermometer to ensure mercury falls below 35 degrees Celsius before using it. Now, as I said, in these type of thermometers, we have a kink. Now, due to the presence of kink, the mercury level doesn't come back or doesn't fall back on its own. So, let's suppose today you have measured temperature of a person and it came out to be say 39 degrees Celsius. Now, tomorrow when you want to measure temperature of the same person using the same thermometer, you never know whether the mercury level has actually fallen back below 35 degrees Celsius or not. So that is why it is important that you jerk the thermometer physically so that the mercury level falls back below 35 degrees Celsius. Before using it, make sure that you read the thermometer and ensure that it is below 35 degrees Celsius. Hold the thermometer at eye level while reading because if you hold the thermometer below or above eye level then you might not be able to read the right temperature. So that's why it, it should always be hold parallel to the level of your eye. Do not hold the bulb while reading. This is very important. Why is it so? Because the bulb actually contains the mercury. So if you hold the bulb while reading, so what happens is the bulb comes in contact with your hand. Therefore, the temperature of the bulb gets altered and therefore there are chances that the mercury level might also fall back because your hand might be colder when compared to the body of that person. So there are chances that the mercury level might get altered. So your reading will get altered. So it is always advised not to hold the bulb while reading. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.